In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the sculpting tools within ArtCam Insignia. There are two sculpting tools available, which are Smooth and Erase. If you take a look on the left hand side here, we have the Smooth and the Erase. I'm going to open up the Smooth first of all, and that opens up this dialog box on the right hand side. I can adjust the diameter of my brush so let's make it 400 which is the maximum and if I hover over the relief you can see I have quite a large brush. I'm going to drop that down to let's say around about 100 now you can see that that's a smaller diameter brush. The strength is the strength of the smoothing so if I was to smooth this now you can see that that's quite strong drop that down to let's say about 16 percent you can see that that's doing the smoothing quite gradually there so it's not as harsh as the smoothing on the right hand side so I'm going to click revert here and that will undo any of the sculpting that I've done there move the strength up to around about 50 percent so you can see this and here we have the smoothness this is the edge of the brush so if I have a smoothness of zero, there you can see just from the preview that the edges are a lot harsher. If I start smoothing that, you can see the edges are quite defined from the smoothed part and the original part. If I set that to being 100%, which is the default, you'll see slowly blends into the part that's not been sculpted quite nicely so I'll just undo that and I'm going to show you what this is here the material safety plane so basically if I were to start sculpting now I could actually sculpt on the zero plane and you can see I'm getting all of this part here on the relief so I don't really want that so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to set a material safety plane of 0.1 so basically this will not allow me to do any sculpting below 0.1 millimeters so if I start sculpting now you can see I'm not getting that same effect so here you can see it's just sculpting all the edges and it's not sculpting onto the zero plane so I can revert that and go to the 2D view because I just want to show you what colours I have on the polar bear so the polar bear is actually coloured in red and I have a rectangle in the centre which is coloured blue I'm just going to select the red colour so it becomes my primary colour on the bottom left hand side of the page go to the 3D view again and turn off my material safety plane because I can do it this way as well I can use the sculpt only under colour so what this will do it's only going to sculpt the red colour that I have selected I can also select here for colour shade and that will show me what colours are assigned to the relief in the 2D view on the 3D view so there you can see that that's sculpting under the colour I can change the colour to blue and that will just allow me to sculpt the blue portion in the centre. So I'm going to revert that and this time I'm going to sculpt excluding colour. So what this will do is the opposite. So there you can see it's allowing me to sculpt the red but not allowing me to sculpt the blue colour. So I can undo that and switch these around. So that will allow me to sculpt just the blue colour so I'll revert that and I'm going to ignore the colour usage now and show you what this relief combine mode is so at the moment it's set to normal so basically this will just sculpt all of the relief if I set this to raise only this will just smooth the high spots on the model and if I set it to lower only, it would just smooth the low spots on the model.
So I'm going to revert that and that is basically the smoothing tool. So I'm going to go on to the erase tool now and we have much the same options, the brush diameter. So you can set that between 2 and 400. Set it to around about there and strength set it to around about the middle and the colour usage just leave that as ignore at the moment now if I left click and start trying to erase at the moment it's not going to do nothing what I need to do is press control down on the keyboard and this will allow me to start erasing all of the relief so there you can see I'm just erasing the polar bear's legs and if I let go of the control button and then left click and start using the erase tool you can see it acts as a history brush so slowly starting to bring all of the relief back so there you can see it's just bringing all of that back I can use the colour usage again so I could just sculpt only under colour so let's say for instance I wanted to erase the blue part which is the rectangle in the centre I could just erase that like so could bring that back using the left click and it will bring back the relief there and I can also sculpt excluding colour so basically this will leave the rectangle standing proud and I can erase everything else so you can see it's just left that rectangle standing proud you can bring all of that back by left clicking and that acts as a history brush and finally for sculpting I'm going to show you how to smooth the whole of the relief using a pre-built tool so if I click here for smooth relief I could do this over the whole relief over selected vectors or over selected colors so let's say for instance I want to use a selected vector select the outside of the polar bear and I'm going to do 10 passes just so you can actually see what is happening here and if I click apply you can see that that's smoothed the whole of the relief all in one go using 10 different passes and it's created some quite realistic looking fur so those are the sculpting tools within ArtCam Insignia